Hello, we're answering questions on sexual health. I'm joined by Dr. Catherine Hood. Hello, Catherine. Hello. Got a question here from a 25-year-old woman mm -hmm. who says that she's never had sex and wants to know about cervical screening. Should she have a test if she's not sexually active? Okay. The cervical screening program was brought about to try and cut down uh, the number of women who were dying of cervical cancer, and it's been an extremely successful program. Um, over the years, we've discovered a little bit more about cervical cancer. And uh, um, it, whereas in years gone by, we used to start cervical screening as soon as people started having sex, so it could be even, you know, 17, 18. We now know that a lot of the, the changes that we look for with the cervical screening program in young people, they very rarely go on to produce cancer. So we were finding a whole load of things that really were not really of Relevant. great importance. Mm -hmm. So now... Most women are advised to start having their smear tests at the age of 25. Now, she's just 25. We also know now that 75% that of cervical cancers are usually linked to a sexually transmitted infection called um, HPV, or human papillomavirus. And there are two or three particular types of HPV that are responsible. So if you haven't had sex, the chances of you having picked up those infections very small indeed. So she could leave it for a few more years? She could leave it for a few more years, yeah. I mean, the, the thing to remember as well is that the cervical screening programme isn't perfect. And there are still 25% of cervical cancers that, that they get are missed. not... Yeah, they're going to get missed or that are not due to human papillomavirus. So it is worth having a smear test at some point. But I think it, I wouldn't panic Worry too at 25. much at 25. But it's not wholly connected with your sexual activity? No. There are some cancers that are completely independent, we think, from, from sexual activity. So while you know, the majority very definitely are, mm -hmm. there are some that aren't. So it's worth having a test at some point, but I wouldn't rush if you've never started having sex. No, don't leave it beyond 30? No, I would have one before 30. Thank you, Catherine, for that. Well, if you have a similar problem, we hope we might have given you some help. But remember, it's always best to go and see your own doctor for medical advice. Thanks for watching. We'll be back with more health questions and answers.